Welcome back to another vlog. So I just pulled up. I'm going to a nail appointment. I'm going to get my nails refilled. It's been like um almost three weeks because today is Friday and Monday would make three weeks. So it's like two days shy of three weeks since I've had them done and they still look really good. But I'm gonna get a fill. Um let me tell you how on my way here as soon as like i was almost here there came like a tire pressure sign on so let me show y'all because yeah i saw my brother and he told me um i have to go to a tire shop so i was like five minutes out from my appointment and it didn't make any sense to turn back to get to a tire shop so i'm gonna do my nails and then i'm going to okay i was checking if we were recording but i'm gonna do my nails and then i'm gonna go to a tire shop he told me to call him as soon as i'm done so he can tell me what's up and he's not even in the area or, or else he would have like came and like checked my car because my brother does do cars so he would have known like what to do I'm um, crying. It's the fact that I know nothing about cars, and he's like, "You just probably need some air in the tires," and I'm here freaking out. Yeah, so my nails is done. Um, I'm at the dealership. They're gonna look at my car. So you can get that off it. Huh? I'm vlogging. He said, what is that? I'm a YouTuber. I'm vlogging. <laughs> I'm crying. So they're gonna check it. Yeah, I'm vlogging. You <laughs> know? Boy, Tilly, my hands car spray Honda, you know, I'm a cold, feel me? She got pressure, so I gotta check it, you feel me? <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna get that done, and then we're gonna go home. Um, these are my nails. They turned out cute, but I couldn't decide, so I don't know. Guys, I hope you all are having an amazing day because I'm about to have the best day ever. Um, I'm so happy today. I'm hanging out with my sister and my nieces. I haven't seen both of my nieces in a minute, so I'm so happy. We are going to a safari, girl. This safari is an hour from here, and my sister wants to leave like right now. We should have left from like 11. It's like almost 12. So we're gonna go to the safari. I'm talking real fast because sis is downstairs waiting for me, and I'm in here trying to do an intro, and I'm taking packs in this. Funny thing is, I'm gonna have to leave him in the front when I go. They're gonna put him in a kennel, but I'd much rather have him outside for like the hour drive and let him have fresh air. And then as soon as we're done, I can get him back versus leaving him alone for like such a long time. But that's what's going on. Happy Saturday, it is Saturday. Um, it was a little chilly this morning. It was 55 degrees in Florida. Right now it's like 72 and I already put my clothes on and I'm not about to change. So I literally, let me just run in my room real quick to show you what I have on. Um, I have a sweater on um, and I have sweatpants on and I have my blazers and some socks because it was cold outside and I'm not wearing any makeup, y'all. Like I'm literally not wearing any makeup. I love that for me. So it's fresh faced and just a very chill, cute vibe. And I think this is really cute. And that's all and nothing else to see here. Let me grab my keys cause this girl gonna cut up. And yeah, that's it. We're going, we are going. And y'all for my fragrance today, I have two fragrances on, by the way, because I was just being extra, I don't know. I have my Valentino times two. So I used this one, her, and I used her. I don't know why I felt like I could put both of them together. And I smell pretty good. But anyways, let's go. I'll talk to you in the car. Well, since he's here, we, we were supposed to leave at 11. That was our official like takeoff time. Well. But we leaving at 12, so we're gonna be there at one. But that's okay, we don't, we don't, we don't mind. Yep. <laughs> 
Good night, guys. It's Lonnie, say hi. I have not seen my niece in forever. Doesn't she look grown? Like, I, I'm just like over it. <laughs> I'm texting you, my lap. You want Paxton in your lap? I'm gonna see if he gonna behave because Paxton is a lot. Paxton, you gonna behave? Yes. Yes. So we made it. We're driving down to Safari, and it's a drive through Safari, guys. So we're gonna drive. It's like an hour for the drive through, but it's like or like an hour and a half the drive through to see the animals. So we're getting down there. It's so beautiful out here. I love this for oh, I love the outside. So we're trying to get some snacks. Um, I dropped Paxton off. I'm scared for him because he was in like a kennel thing. But yeah, it was the big ones. Like, come here, Alani. Alani, come here. So I'm getting some snacks. Say hey, Zari. Uh, my sister went to use the bathroom because the safari is an hour and a half. The I think that's what for the drive-in. So. We had to like use the bathroom because the lady was like, if you don't use the bathroom now, you're gonna be in there for hour 30 minutes and need to use the bathroom. So we took the chance to use the bathroom and we're just gonna get some snacks, maybe like hot dogs or something. We're gonna see what they have. So we got something to snack on while we look on the animals. Welcome to world famous Lion Country Safari. Guys, so we are here. Let me tell you how the temperature got hot. It's like, no, it's like 75 degrees, but it's still getting very hot. Um, I'm not really burning up yet, but I mean, look at how I'm dressed, yeah. My sister went and took her um, her pants off. She got jeans, she was smart, she brought some jeans. But I'm out here roughing it. We're gonna head into the safari, and I'm literally trying to see if they have a number that I can call the front desk, so I can check on Paxson because Can you get it? Wait. Lonnie, don't give him all of it now. Okay, let it go, let it go, let it go. Lonnie. You gotta let it go, let it go. <laughs> she was holding it. Yeah, I keep asking, so I'm finally like sharing with you um, just like my dinner. This is me preparing for Sunday, like making my Sunday dinner, like how Jamaicans make Sunday dinner. Yeah, so um, I'm making curry goat and I'm washing the meat. This is crucial. Like you have to wash your meat. You don't just like buy meat and put the meat in, um, on the fire. If you Jamaican, you know this. So um, I'm just washing my goat and I'm using some vinegar and I'm not using gloves because I just could not be bothered to do all that, but I always use gloves. Um, so I'm just washing the meat and for dinner, I'm making curry goat. I wanted some fried chicken and some rice and peas, like real Jamaican. Like this dinner is real, real Jamaican. So I wash my meat twice. That's like a, like a given thing. You have to wash your meat. So these are the seasonings that I'm using. I'm using like curry powder. This Maggi seasoning is a must have. Like it's a go-to, I use it for everything ginger powder, garlic powder, um, all spice seasoning, and some onion powder. So 
This is Saturday night. I'll be cooking the food on Sunday, but I always prep my stuff from the night before. That's like key. If you want like the best tasting like meals, I feel like you need to prep um, from before and have your meat like soak overnight. I try to do that even though it doesn't always work out like that, but yeah. So I'm just adding the seasonings and I put them on the um, up to the screen so y'all can see what I'm using. And I don't have no measurements, that's why I never be doing any like cooking nothing. But y'all keep asking, so I'm just sharing with you. I'm not a professional chef, none of that. I'm just a person that likes to cook, okay? And I'm from a Jamaican background, so I cook a lot of Jamaican food. So I'm just prepping my stuff and I don't measure my seasoning. I don't know if, it, if it's like the years of just like cooking, you just know how much you should use. I don't know, so I just judge everything. And I add my seasonings and I use seasonings until the ancestors tell me to stop. <laughs> And I'm just adding like some pepper. Um, I cut some onions up, thyme, I cut some scallions up, well green onions as you guys call them, and garlic. Oh, I didn't have any fresh garlic and I was not about to go to the store because it was like late. So the place I would go to wouldn't be open anyways. So I have like minced garlic that I had in my refrigerator so that's what I used and guys Usually I probably would have used like a few more things, but I just used what I had in the house. I, I really was not trying to like go to the store or anything, but this is what I'm doing and you see with my gloves because girl, we got fresh nails. We're not trying to get curry on the nails. You know how hard it is to get curry out of stuff. So I'm just like rubbing the seasoning in and I'm just like, you know, I'm doing my thing because you need to get that seasoning in there. And when I do this and leave it overnight, you know, it's bomb. Once you have your food soaking overnight, that seasoning really gets up in there. Once you like cook the next day, it's busting. So yeah, see I'm using the minced garlic because I didn't have any fresh garlic. I would much rather fresh garlic. And also for curry, I put fresh ginger. I did put ginger after the fact. It, it wasn't shown here, but I did. And guys, I have some chicken legs because I wanted to make some fried chicken. Like curry goat, rice and peas and fried chicken is a special in Jamaica. Like literally, if you go to like um, like a cook shop or like anywhere that sells food, you want some fried, fried chicken with curry goat, like heavy on the curry gravy. That's like a thing. And I'm literally just using like the same kind of seasonings that I used on the curry goat, except I'm not using any curry. And I put my, um, my chicken in. A Ziploc bag just so I can properly get to like rub the seasonings in and also get it to soak so tomorrow you know when I'm making my fried chicken it's all nice and soaked down to the bone and y'all for this fried chicken um, I'm gonna show y'all how I made it in the air fryer because I don't know I've gotten so lazy I hate having to deep fry chicken because it's just too much oil and it's just like a lot so I've learned to air fry it and it still turns out nice and this is my peas. I'm soaking my peas overnight. If you know, you know, it's a Jamaican thing. You soak your peas from the night before and it makes it um, more tender. I think that's what it makes it. It makes it like um, easily cooked. So once it's soaked, when you cook it, it cooks real quick versus not soaking it. And of course you gotta wash your peas. And I did wash my peas and then I'm putting um, some of these all spice, we call them pimento seeds in Jamaica in my thing. And I'm putting like some garlic i really wish i had fresh garlic that was the most annoying thing for me and this is the next day guys you see how my peas is nice and soaked and they look swollen so those will be easy to cook and i'm just like cooking my peas and then we're gonna look about our curry and i did separate the little seasonings from the actual curry and i'm boiling a pan with uh, with water so when the curry is actually cooking instead of adding like water from the the tap, I have really hot water to put on the meat so that'll make it tender. That will help with tenderizing it. So you heat your pot up, y'all, and you burn like some curry powder with garlic and like pepper. Well, I like to put pepper because I like my curry look spicy. And then you just add your goat once the curry powder is burnt out. And then you just like keep stirring it and stirring it. And then you, you leave that for a while so it like cooks 
it, it, um, it browns as we call it in Jamaica. It's not going to say turn brown, but you're letting the, um, the curry burn out and you're letting the meat like What's that word? Well, how would I put it if you're saying it in American? I don't know. You're letting the meat like just like burnish a little bit in the pot. And once I get that done, I start adding water and I don't just go in with a whole bunch of water because then you'll lose flavor. I start adding like a little bit of hot water and then as it goes along, you keep adding more. And I can't tell you how long <laughs> it cooks for because it takes a while. I just know because I do it all the time. Um, and for my rice and peas, y'all, once your peas is cooked, you add your coconut milk. If y'all need to see the kind of ingredients, I put them on the screen so y'all can like screenshot it and stuff. I'm so sorry if um, the video is going faster than I can explain. And you put some scallions and thymes and a hot green pepper. Of course, you need a, a green pepper. And wash your rice and you put it in. And I wish I had measurements again to tell y'all, but I don't because... This is my culture. I've been cooking like this for forever, so I don't really know how to say two cups of water, one cup of this. I no, we just cook, I guess. So I'm adding my rice and I'm just leaving that to like boil down. And this is what the curry is looking like. After cooking it, like I kept adding more water and it's cooking really nicely. It looks like it has a lot of water right now, but it has just enough. And this is what the rice and peas is looking like, nice and shelly and the color is on point like I did this with the rice and peas and then like when my curry when my goat is cooked I add some potatoes this helps the gravy to get nice and thick and after the potatoes have like half cooked then I add my onions my um other seasonings I'm putting carrots and whatever else I feel like I want to add like this is a time and then that's what it looks like when it's done. It looks so good and I'm getting so hungry watching this video again. But this is what it looks like. Everything is nice and cooks down. And this is the lazy ear fried chicken because usually you fry chicken, you got to get a pot, a lot of oil, and you got time for that. So I figured out a way to do it in the air fryer. So I make a batter with egg. Um, I put some milk. If you have buttermilk, you can use it. But I just use what I have in my house. So I use egg, milk, hot sauce and i dip my chicken in that after i mix that all together because i like the chicken spicy and then the flour guys that you put your chicken in be sure to season it because if you put your chicken um in just flour it's gonna taste like flour it's not gonna have any seasoning so whatever you put in that flour whatever seasoning that's what the the coating of your chicken will taste like and i want flavor so i put um whatever seasonings that i have like powdered seasonings in there before i put the chicken in and because i wanted to get a double coating on the chicken i put it in the egg mixture first then i put it in the flour and then i put it back in the egg mixture and i put it in the flour so we have a double coat and i saw this air fry um air fried chicken on youtube i really don't remember the name of the person but if i find her video i'm gonna link it below so y'all can see and I just did it how I did it. I watched what she did, I just did it my way. So now you have to brush the chicken with oil, like make sure it's fully coated with oil because remember that fried chicken is fried in a lot of oil to get like that crispy out um, exterior. And because we're trying to mimic that, you have to just like brush the entire chicken with oil, brush both sides, and then just like leave it to um, settle down a bit just so it doesn't taste like very powdery um, and just like greasy. So you just do that and leave it for a while. And do you see how it already looks crispy just with the oil on it because we have that double coating. And then this is what it looks like. And I heat my air fryer to 350. I put it on 22 minutes and then I just put it in there. And when it's halfway through, I take it out, flip it over and brush oil on the chicken again. Look at how good it looks, oh my God. And then I brush oil on the chicken again and then I put it back in there. And it cooks for the other remainder of this time and then that's it y'all that was a lot i know but that's my sunday dinner i did not film my outro but that's what it came out looking like and that joint was busting if you want me to like vlog more food let me know um thank you guys so much for watching bye <laughs>